Hello, I am Shay, and you're watching Party Get Nerd. up guys so for this episode and this most recent upload is well it's just what the thumbnail is gonna say these uh what are these barcades or countercades that they uh, i've been seeing popping up all over the place and uh, you're luck because i have two of them to show off so i want to make this very clear that um i'm in my kitchen so uh that's why i have the headphones on to make sure that audio gets captured but um yeah uh so let me uh let me uh swing the camera around and show you what i'm talking about all right so i wanted to show this up too because this is kind of why i decided to get the barricades and i uh, show a little bit of retro i mean that's well that's part of getting nerd for you so the, here is the coleco um uh these came out in 1981 somewhere around there 1980 81 82 um, they are, uh, I don't remember the technology that they use for this, but it does a name for it. So I will post some information down below what kind of technology this is. But as you can see, I think I can do demo. So it's going to play itself. And, uh, you can tell that the graphics are pr primitive and, and the sound is, well, let's just say the sound really annoys my wife. So <laughs> I'm laughing because uh, yeah, it's hard to play and there's no headphone jack. It's just going to be that loud. All right, so we're going to move over to the next one I have, Galaxian, which I just picked this up recently. So this one's pretty cool. Space Evaders and some sort of a shooting game. I don't know if it has a demo mode or not. It doesn't appear to have a demo mode, but uh, you kind of get the idea. So yeah, can you imagine the sounds of these playing in the background? Uh oh. I hope I uh, was on the right character there. Yeah, it's hard to play with one hand, but you guys get the idea, right? Alright, so moving over to Donkey Kong. So another one. Again, I don't know if this has a demo or not, but yeah, it's basically a uh, donkey car. So you can tell the sounds are very, very 80s. <laughs> I'm not very good at this one. Yeah. So anyway, I want to shut those off because they are obnoxious with their sounds. And uh, it's just, yeah, especially the Pac-Man. I don't have this Pac-Man, and I don't have Frogger, so maybe one day I'll get off all of them. All right, so, eh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'll put a time step if anybody doesn't want to see the retro stuff based on these, then, yeah, so, anyway, okay, here we go. So, um, I'm gonna start with Miss Pac-Man. Uh, I think most people will be familiar with Miss Pac-Man. And we're gonna do basically a review of this thing. So this was bought off the QVC website. I downloaded the app for it. And, uh, wow, I'm really up close. So I'll do a wraparound. So anyway, um, so I got on an early deal. They were selling for, I think, $109. I don't know if that's the current price. It might've gone up just a little bit. And basically it's a, it's a, like a fourth of the size, maybe even less, like eighth of the size of a normal uh, size arcade. So let's take a look. It's very lightweight. It doesn't really require much. It comes with the power. There's a power supply back here. It comes with a cord. Um, this, unfortunately, this doesn't light up, but it's still pretty cool. The artwork is pretty nice. And, um, and not only it has most Pac-Man games, but it has like four other games as well. And we'll take a look at that. And then as soon as we take a look at this, I'll hop over to this one too. So you get to see both of them in action. Alrighty. So let's, I think I'm plugged in. I, I, it looks like everything's go, good. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on this Pac-Man. 
It takes about 30, 15 seconds to boot up. I would say 15. Yeah, about 15 seconds to boot up. So I'm gonna move my phone over. Actually, I don't need to bring a table to wait, wait. Okay, so um, let's take a little closer look at the screen so you have an idea of what's going on. So we have Ms. Pac-Man, has Super Pac-Man, has Galaxian, uh, something called Rompers, and King and Maloon. So you get, if you buy the QVC one, it comes with these games. If you buy it somewhere else, like I think Amazon or Best Buy or something, they may only have three games. So this one's exclusive. Uh, it has different games. So I'm just gonna hop into Miss Pac-Man for now and just show you what what that looks like. So hit A right here. And it tells you how to play. Hit player one. The switches and controls are very, very much similar to the ones that were in the arcade. Um, the only drawback is there is a lot of uh, glare from the or from the. Uh, LCD. The LCD is not really IPS, unfortunately. So there are some kind of messed up viewing angles. So if you look dead onto it, you can see it. But if you're on the side, I mean, it, it still looks really good. I'm just saying that the, the viewing angle is a little bit cheap, but yeah. So let's try to get some game capture here. Oh, well, that should work right there. I mean, it's going to be a little wonky for me to play, but I'll do my best. All right, here we go. So I hit player one. <laughs> It adds a quarter to it. So yeah, you know, the, the, the controller has micro switches in it. So it's just really very similar to the original arcade version. Uh, it's hard to play sideways, guys. <laughs> it really is. And, and I'm using my left hand, I'm right-handed. And like I said, the graphics are the viewing angles on the side look kind of wonky, but... Oh. Oh. These ghosts were not very smart, were they? Now they're after me. Let's go down here. Get these dots. Okay, he's gonna go in there. Oh crap, I'm gonna get quartered! Ah! No! No! Okay, I got quartered. Like I said, it takes about, I don't know, you know, about 10 seconds to, to boot. Sounds pretty good. It has one speaker. It's down here at the bottom on the right hand side. It sounds pretty nice when you're playing. Alright, so I'm not sure how well I'm gonna be able to play this one. I'm gonna stick with the original game for now. So we'll go to the Galaga 88. So let's try that. So I'm gonna hit it the uh, so you just so you can see. Um, I think you can see that. So let me get a closer view so you can see the screen. So uh, Galica 88. There's an original Gal is Galaxian and a couple other ones which I'm not good at. So hit A. A is almost the fire button, and then A again or player one, whatever. So I'm not very good at this one either. <laughs> You just hit the player one, if you want to do player one. And it's got a volume control. It can get really loud. Oh, lost one of my ships already. So the reason why I'm showing this off is because I got it on sale and it may still be on sale right now and it's actually a really good gift for Christmas I think. I mean it really is a good value for what you get. You can put this down in your game room and you can have, I mean, fun with it. It's just really cool. If you're into retro gaming or somebody that, you know, was thinking about getting these one-ups like me, I, I really kind of waited. Because they were coming out too expensive, like six hundred dollars and all that. I, I didn't want to spend that. I did buy these on my with my own money, by the way. Uh, these were not set for review. I don't really get those. I'm not a big YouTuber. Just a small. I'm just a small piece of the pie. <laughs> Insignificant. But uh, yeah. Um, so you can see here, and like I said, it comes, this one comes with I think four games too. 
They're all shooting games. They're all basically this one. You know, just different types. Same controls. There is a little lag, um, but I kind of remember that lag being present on the arcade itself. So I, I really got it doesn't affect me. If you're, you know, a kind of a stickler to that, I don't know, maybe this might not be something that you might you might get frustrated with or something. I don't know. But um but I have found it to be fine. Um, I don't, I'm not very good at what I do, but yeah. So again, I'm gonna hold down the power or the player one. Hold it down for about 10 seconds or so. It'll reboot and then you can go back and you can choose another game. So for this one, uh, let's try, let's try Galaga. And I, you know, I'm gonna keep this, re this review kind of short so that I can, you know, if you have more questions, you wanna see more gameplay, then you can always comment. And this is just to show off these uh, units that are being sold. Uh, the artwork is nice. The wood is nice. It's not heavy. Um, you could take it. I'm going to take the, these two units to my family's Thanksgiving this year. And if you're interested in getting one of these, um, I'll put a link in the description. Again, I bought this off the QVC website um, and got a good deal. Hopefully, I, right, I, sometimes they run around run 30. Sometimes they go down as 109. Uh, there is some tax and shipping, but at the end of the day, it's really actually a good deal. So um, I don't know how long it's going to last, but keep your eyes and ears open about these. Um, this is just to show off. If you do find one for a run 150, it's still, uh, I would think it's worth it, um, especially if it comes with the five games. Um, is there anything else that I want to add to this video? Because I don't want this video to get too long, guys. I only have 15 minutes to talk about stuff, and I didn't have to stop. So, so anyway, that's this Miss Pac-Man. So I'll show to close out this video. I'll show another game from Miss Pac-Man. You kind of know uh, a little bit what that looks like. The gameplay's the same. All right, here we go. This is much better. I don't know if this can output the HDMI or not. I don't think it can. So, uh, there's all sorts of mods out there, I'm sure, that you can probably find a mod to, to make it bigger on the screen, but this is really just a standalone unit, you put it in your game room, bedroom, whatever, if you really love this Pac-Man, this is kind of cool. So, if you enjoyed this, let me know. Um, I do have some other things to show off. Can't push that one in. Uh-oh. Oh. oh no! Oh no! Am I stuck? There we go. It's kinda like Pac-Man. You collect the keys and you just move around and I I think this is probably one of my favorite games so far. I mean on on these two. It gets really hard because now they start doing that now. Oh I got quartered. All right, guys, that's it. I just wanted to show you off these two barcades. If you're interested, again, uh, I put a link in the description. Uh, QVC is where I got mine. And uh, it they shipped out very fast. It was very quick. Here's some artwork on the side here. And yeah, pretty cool. And it really, really does feel like going back in time, seeing these when I was a kid to now what, what we have now. So it's amazing to see that. So, yep, that's it for this episode. Thanks, guys. See you in the next one. I'm out of here. Yeah.